Hello and welcome back to another episode of Sounds Like Sam. This episode is presented to you by Bullseye Fantasy Football. Last episode, I shared the basics of fantasy football with you and answered some FAQs involving fantasy football and how to and how fantasy drafts work. Today, I will be sharing with you five tips on how to prepare for your fantasy football draft. The draft is an extremely important and fun part of fantasy football. And making sure you are prepared for your fantasy draft can actually help you secure a solid team that will help you succeed later on in the fantasy football season. So, without further ado, let's just start from the top. Tip number one is to make sure you fully understand how scoring works in your league. I went over some of the basics of scoring in my last episode, sharing with you how standard leagues, PPR leagues, and how PPR leagues work. No leagues are created equal, and different fantasy leagues have different scoring and rules and playing styles. So it's important to know your league's scoring style and rules because the way your league scores points will tell you which types of players are valuable. A few examples of this, of what I mean, would be how in PPR leagues, you want to target not only wide receivers who have a high target share from their team, but you want to target running backs that are more of a receiving threat because receptions give you more points in the scoring system. And this is why a guy like Alvin Kamara from the Saints is higher ranked in PPR leagues than Nick Chubb. In a tight end premium league, you'll want to target tight ends earlier because drafting tight ends in this type of league will give you more points than in other types of league formats. And drafting guys like Travis Kelsey, George Kittle, Darren Waller early on is highly recommended. In two quarterback leagues, where you are allowed to start two quarterbacks in your starting lineup instead of just one, drafting quarterbacks and really good quarterbacks early is the way to go. And lastly, some leagues offer bonus points when players rush or receive or even throw over a certain amount of yards. So if you play in a league like this, then it's important to target and draft players who produce a high percentage of whatever the uh, the bonus points scoring system is. So, so if it's over 100 yards for rushing or receiving, if you get a bonus for having your player go over that yardage, then you'll want to target players who produce a high percentage of 100-yard games. So an example of this would be uh, drafting a guy like Derrick Henry who averages over 100 yards rushing every game. Tip number two is to download and mark up a cheat sheet then keep it close to you when you draft. ESPN has a bunch of these types of cheat sheets but my favorite of theirs is their top 300 list. And This is a good resource for you because it will make it easier for you to see where players are currently ranked uh, in their position, how they're ranked overall in fantasy football, where players are most likely to be drafted, and when they are on their bye week. And depending on what league type you are in, ESPN will have a cheat sheet for you. If you draft in person, this will help too because you can draft, after you draft, you can, or other players are drafted, you can cross off those players from that list and it'll make it easier for you to know uh, who's still available and it'll make it harder for you to forget other guys available. Tip number three is to keep tabs on who is injured and NFL news. This is important because things can change fast and if you haven't been keeping up with the times and if you haven't been then your team will likely pay for it. Tip number four is to take note of the running back handcuffs and make sure that you draft your top running back's handcuff. Now, for those of you that don't know, a handcuff running back is essentially an insurance policy for running backs. These are normally the number one guys on teams or your your uh, your first couple picks. To draft a handcuff, all you need to do is select the backup running back from the same team that your that your running back was on during your fantasy draft. And you do this just in case your running back gets hurt so that you won't have to scramble later to try and add him from the waiver wire. So examples of running back ones and their handcuffs would be, uh, for the Panthers, it'd be running back Christian McCaffrey and his handcuff Chubba Hubbard. 
For the Saints, it would be Alvin Kamara in his handcuff, Latavius Murray. For the Cowboys, it would be Ezekiel Elliott in his handcuff, Tony Pollard. And for the Vikings, it would be Dalvin Cook in his handcuff, Mackenzie Alexander. Uh, to better ensure you pick your running back, whoever, whatever running back you have, handcuff, I recommend picking them somewhere around uh, the 8th or ninth round just to better ensure that you get them. When you are drafting, feel free to take other people's uh, handcuffs as well because players get injured all the time and uh, if you get someone's backup to, who, uh, who their, their, their running back one was just injured, then you basically have a starting running back uh, that you can either start or, or trade for someone uh, that might need them for uh, someone you need. So my fifth and final tip, tip number five, is to practice drafting by mock drafting. Like I stated in my last episode, mock drafts are simulated fantasy football drafts, and they're useful because they show you where players tend to go uh, in the actual draft, and they're just fun to see what your team could potentially look like before your actual draft. I would recommend using ESPN's version, but if you already know the the layout of your league, like the number of players in it, or the league type, uh, your draft pick, you can in input all those in one of these leagues, just practice drafting and um, see what you get. If you are a true beginner or just want some extra draft help, feel free to contact me at Bullseye Fantasy. Uh, I can help you prep for your draft, but if not, at least make sure to listen to my upcoming podcast episodes because that is where I will be sharing with you my strategies and players to target in drafts. So that was the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Before you go, just make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Bullseye Fantasy, uh, that you subscribe to my website, which the link will be in the Twitter bio, and that you turn your podcast notifications on to Sounds Like Sam, wherever you get your podcast. And of course, subscribe to me on YouTube. Thanks, and peace.